Everybody, welcome to Epic Brew. I'm Tom. Today we're back with more Chernobylite. So I played a little bit between episodes. I don't even know if I'm going to call these episodes. I played in between the last video and this video. And so I have a better understanding of how the gameplay loop works. And what that entails is every day you wake up and you come out here into the little base and you go over to these binoculars right here. You pick them up. And then, oh, this is new. The weather in Chernobyl changes every day. The rain can mute the noises you are making. And grammar. And the fog obscures the line of view of your opponents. This can be used to your advantage. Monitor the exclusion. Okay, whatever. Um, so you can pick the missions that Olivier and I guess the team you'll gradually assemble go out on. If you've played like World of Warcraft, I think, uh, oh, geez, what expansion was that? Uh, with the warlords of Draenor <laughs> when you had the little the little home base and you send your little minions out to do stuff kind of what this is there's percent chances of failure etc um each one has like a different main resource that you'll be finding more of so like the knife and the fork means food um I don't know what the oh this is an actual mission one uh medical supplies and then I think this means munition oh no this is just a rest one so it looks like I've got three opportunities for food and one for medicine um i can send olivier out or i can have him rest the little statistics that affect like what's more successful for who etc um so that's kind of like like the the rotation of it every day you go out on a mission you tell your buddies what to do you come home at the end of the mission or you die i haven't died yet but i imagine you die you kind of fail and you have to restart it but then you come back to your base here and you can build uh, more utilities. You can see I've added in some beds over here so that me and Olivier can rest if we need the day off. I built a, uh, a weapons crafting station. I have a pistol now. Look at this piece of crap. But hey, you know, it gets the job done. Um, and the lights are like dimming and, and pulsating because... I have too much equipment on it. This ignore this right here. I think that's just how it looks. But I have too much equipment hooked up, so I need to go build a generator. Um, but I don't have the supplies for the generator. So I'm hoping out on today's mission, uh, you can't really do much with the radio. Out on today's mission, I find the supplies I need to actually build a generator because you have your own health and your psyche. Uh, those are two of the main levels uh, that you need to monitor and each member of your squad has those two levels so obviously if they get injured or they start starving their health is going to go down but then psyche is interesting because i noticed that my psyche level was like st steeply dropping whenever i would kill uh an enemy like murdering them was affecting me mentally um and also the game warned me that if i don't fix the electrical problems uh the the blinking lights will also negatively impact my psyche so it'll like gradually drive you insane um and it was interesting because after i'd killed a bunch of bad guys my vision started to get and or after my psyche went down my vision started to get real like real nasty looking and it was hard to like see stuff but then i found a bottle of alcohol it was probably vodka let's be real i found a bottle of vodka and i drank it and my psyche went back uh to full health but I thought that was an interesting, like, little mechanic that you have to monitor alongside your health. So Olivier, uh, he gave me a mission. He said he heard on the radio that there was somebody who might want to defect from the bad guys. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to go out and do here. Let's pick, um, let's send him out after food. Oh, he's only got a 51% chance of completing that. 51, 58. I'm looking at the little percentage here in the bottom left. 66. Let's send them out on the medical one. We'll send them out on that. And then I'll go do... Okay. Yeah, I'll go look for the trader. And let's start the mission. Oh, I'm certain I want to start the mission. The portal opens up. 
when you gather the supplies you want, you have that little the device. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. But can you ever trust a traitor, Igor? Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? Tanya likes to interrupt quite often. I don't want to start talking again and have it <laughs> cut me off, so I'm like hesitant. Okay, I think I'm good here. That yeah, should be good. Um, so what I was saying is when you get to the end of the level, uh, you have this device that you can use to open a portal to get back to your base. So you can kind of end the level whenever you want with that. But right now, I'm going to just send the pulse out. It's also very hard to see enemies in this game. Um, you'll hear them. Most of the time, you'll hear them before you see them. It's it's really tense. There wasn't any food around here, really. Stop right uh, here. Don't move a muscle. Why are you pointing your gun at me, you barbarian? We've got bigger problems. What did you just call me? On the ground. I hate to break it to you, but there's a goddamn monster running around, and I promise you it won't care about your little rifle. We have to get the hell out of here. On the ground, now! I won't tell you again. Shoot me if you want, you primitive fuck. I don't bow to savages like you. Hey, don't you dare. Oh, he got shot. Watch out, someone is playing a fucked up game around here. Oh, I get to loot them all. I really hope that wasn't my contact who I was supposed to be meeting. Where is this guy's gun? He can take the ammo out of it. Hmm. I probably could have saved that guy. Whoops. I didn't really know what was happening. Oh, there's some more Chernobyl out here. I don't have an anti Chernobylite burner. I guess that's an object I have to make eventually. I can't believe my scanner is not finding anything. Usually there's, oh yeah, there's some stuff inside this building here. There's something on the table in there. I don't know what that is. It doesn't appear to be a way in. I can't open that door. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, I thought that was for over that way, not right here. Got a little bit of radiation sickness already. That's not good. Oh, there's some herbs over here, it looks like. The objective is over here, so I'm just going to head in this direction. Keep scanning when I can. You know what? I should probably reload my gun. Oh, I already did. I'm good. <laughs> this forest just doesn't have a lot of supplies. I wonder if this is just like a story mission and not really a resupply mission. Check the house. Thought I heard somebody walking. So these dolls laying all over the place. It's super creepy. It's super creepy. Like there's like a little toy rabbit right there. There's a hole in the ground, too. That room's blocked. Check these out. No lock picks. Two baby cribs. More dolls. 
It's a back door here. Oh, there's some there's some loot over there. Okay. I'll check the backyard when I'm done here. Oh, looks. Can I get? Oh, if I could pick the lock, though. Wow, if I could pick the lock, I could get in and all that stuff in there. That stinks. There was a hole in the ground. Was it here? Here it is. Oh, my gosh. I wish my scanner could scan for like hostiles. Where the heck did it go? It just vanished. Go down in the hole. It might be like a supply basement, you know? Oh, there's a portal there. Oh, there's... It just came through the portal. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to shoot it in the head. It's called Shadow? What? What? The heck was that? I've n I've not seen that before. That thing came right out of the wall behind me. There's no loot in here. The heck is that thing? Like a humanoid slime monster. Yeah, the portal opened up right here because I was I was like right in there when I saw him walk through here. There's a door. There was nothing in here. Yeah, this is just the back of the house. Wow. There's some herbs over here. I'm going to scoop them up. Or mushrooms. I'm going to get that box I saw in the backyard. There it is. Oh, it's like radio. It's in a little radioactive zone. Oh, that stinks. Dang. I'm going to keep heading to the objective then. I feel like I'm just going to walk out of some bushes and just see enemies like right in front of me. The rain's also messing up my my view. Mm. Herbs. Man, this probably looks terrible on YouTube. There's so many like moving elements right now. Oh man, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. That bush right there blowing in the wind that I almost shot it. I gotta be getting close. Nice little river here. I don't see any movement. The building up here. 
Sergeant Sharp, this asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know, damn Samishels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Why lunatics? What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? We asked them nicely to leave, yet they're still fucking resisting. Hey, you're right. I wouldn't be here either, but they pay better than the army. They must be looking for our mystery guy. So, this is a problem that I'm having in this game. It's that I hear the enemies, but you could tell when I was moving the camera around, I have no idea like what direction the enemy's in until I start hearing them walking around. It's not like I have to hide in a bush and hopefully nobody walks on top of me while I listen to see if anybody's nearby. And because, like, you can tell... Here, let me back up so you can really see what I'm talking about. When I get out of, the, like, this clearing, right? So there's just bushes right in front of me, but when I move into them, they kind of turn translucent so you can, like, see through them. And the problem with that, though, is that you're not really sure... <laughs> When you're out on the other side or if there's just like light coverage in front of you. So like, like, am I exposed here? Like, I don't see any, like, it looks like this bush ends here and this one ends here. But then now this plant's invisible. Like how much coverage do I have? So it's really hard to tell. Oh, apparently my guy's six meters away. He might be down in this pit here. Apparently this is where I need to go. Oh. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm, I'm unarmed. Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I, I know traitor. I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off, and... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so... They cooked up this yarn about a traitor. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in Kyle's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably worried about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Uh, no, you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. We turn him loose, he could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go, at least not before combing through his stuff. I'm gonna try to search him. Sorry, but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look-see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. We're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler, or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. <laughs> what? Uh... Hmm, that's tough. He knows where I live. But I don't know if I want to kill him. He might help me. <laughs> Let's hope he helps me. Guess that one was a colossal fucking waste of time. Great. Your stats with Olivier got worse? Great.
so he just goes away. That's that. Also, I didn't realize how much the rain really killed my frames. <laughs> I'm down here and I'm like, ooh, it's buttery smooth. And then up there, it was a little rusty. Oh, I guess that's the mission then, huh? There's all these other question marks on here. I'm just going to go back. Olivier is probably going to whine at me. Here comes the berating. It stinks I didn't find any supplies. I found a few mushrooms and herbs, that's it. Mission success. Olivier is healthy, stable. Oh, he came back with some... That's all you got is one medic pack and one thing of soup, buddy? Alright. Everybody gets normal rations. Why not? Yeah, see there in the red text. Their electricity power is low. The blinking light is bad for the psyche of the companions. He's going to get mad at me when I go down to talk to him. Look at that though. The storm cleared up. It's a little bit sunny out. How about that? This is the team I'm assembling. Where we're now for Anton. Olivier is still with us. We need a sniper. We need a spy. I think that guy's going to come back into the storyline. Because the option was to let him go or, or kill him. So clearly, yeah, I think I made the right call. And then I got to go in and infiltrate the power plant pretending to be a prisoner. I need someone to pretend to be an NAR soldier. And then I need uh, a good hacker. All right, now let's go have Olivier yell at me. Do you have a minute? Something you wanted to talk about? Someone. Did you know Anton has a daughter? Dasha? My God. He kept it from me for a long time. Even though we were friends, I did wonder sometimes why he didn't blow his pay on booze and women like the rest of us. He was putting money away for her future. For an education and stuff. He wanted her to have a better starting point in life. I've already decided that when this is all done, I'm going to find her and take care of her. But no one knows what the future holds, right? That's why I have a big favor to ask of you. If anything should happen to me, I'd like you to find Dasha and give her my pay. Please. Olivier, please don't talk like this. Once we've figured this whole thing out, you'll have plenty of opportunity to do that yourself. No. I really need you to promise me this. Anton deserves no less. I promise. Hmm. Oh, there's a relationship status. Bad. <laughs> okay, so he didn't really berate me. I thought he was going to yell at me, but... That's not so bad. Um, I didn't get the supplies I need to build a power generator, so hopefully... In a future run, I get that straightened up. But one thing I did want to show is my room. So this is Igor's room over here. And you go in. And it's, you know, it's pretty cozy. It's just kind of like a small side room. Um, this is interesting because when you're out scavenging, you'll find clues and... Um, well, I guess basically just clues. Clues and evidence, I guess. And the more you find, the more you piece together. Apparently, Igor's got like some like memory uh, amnesia that affects him. So he doesn't exactly remember what happened to Tanya. So when he's out and about, he's looking for like clues and stuff to piece back uh, what happened. All this fancy gizmo stuff over here. This is some like, it's like an Arid, Aridania. It's some device that can manipulate people's minds. It kind of reminds me of um, Cerebro from X-Men. You just kind of put it on and you can kind of see from somebody else's perspective. I guess it was actually kind of confusing and I didn't really follow it completely. But it's some sort of like memory 
modulation device. And so he's like trying to build this and piece together what happened so that he can find uh, his wife right here, Tanya Hansen. I think it's interesting that they actually got a, like a real actress and then they just filmed it and put it in the game instead of like a CGI. That was really creepy. Um, a CGI Tanya like we get in the actual game. But it's interesting. There's a lot going on I haven't quite figured out yet. It kind of the, the story vibe reminds me a lot of the show Lost. If those of you who are old enough to remember Lost. Really great show. Uh, if you've never watched it, I highly recommend it. You'll get hooked on it. But there's like these really strange like plot twists and stuff that I know uh, is going to be coming in soon. But we just haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm eager to see what happens. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. A little bit shorter than the last one. But that was a full day. A full day in the life of Igor here in Chernobyl. Let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Be sure to subscribe to catch more Chernobylite. As well as more to how when they eventually fix the loot. Because not touching that game until that loot is fixed. They did mention though that they're adding a loot volume slider. Just like I wanted. So I'm not saying just like I wanted. Not They're not making it for me. But it is something that's coming that I was hoping would show up in the game. But yeah. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch y'all next time.